Hi, this is episode 62 of the Evil Sect. I'm Icon, and today I have a strong urge to get Sean's development process a little bit ahead. I mean, we don't need to put him into lengthy rituals to improve his stats today. So I'd say we are in a really, really good direction here. Meanwhile, my wood cultivator is collecting material now like crazy because we want money. Yi Mao though is just permanently in the meditation state. Well, I don't know if we're going to put him out of that today. Maybe I'll just let him meditate there for today. Who knows. We're also getting done with the whole of the iron bar production so that's good. So let's do some iron bar gear. Just doing a little bit of everything here. Don't know if I have enough metal for that, but we'll try it nevertheless. A new artifact can be found there. Not too interested, thanks. Okay. Well, I just came up with an idea. Oh, Yao Guy. Ooh, this time they even feature Golden Core. Alright. So, Wenfang, let's have some fun. I see somebody's artifact being trashed. Yeah, here. The artifact is returning to its owner and getting mopped again. I begin to understand how this works. Enough to even be able to watch things while they're happening, basically. Hey, dog. Catch that guy. All right. New soul gems. Thank you. Can't say no to new soul gems. I will put your soul into my medicine. Things you can only say in this game. Because that's basically what we'll do when we're spectre refining that stuff. Alright. Now, I was actually busy with something else while you were interrupting. I just came to the decision that I don't want to spend Yi Mao's time with that. Instead, I'm going to use his insane lifespan to do some der derivative calculations for the sect. Because derivative cal cal uh, calculation costs you 20 years of lifetime per usage, and this guy has 1,700? 1000, 1,600. Did he already consume any life prolongers? Well, nope. Just regular medicines. So, oh no, there was a region pill once. Okay. There we go. So, with this. Oh, it's only 10 years. Huh! Let's have some fun. So, the higher my attainment, intelligence, and luck. Well, his attainment is uh, quite high. And he's very lucky. So... Traces of Just Sect. Was that the... Just Sect thing? Okay. I have no clue what this uh, event actually does. But I don't want to do any fuzz here. 
So probably Yi Mao is a pretty good ca candidate for this trick. Manifesting Mandate. That's exactly what we need. Nanping Village. So, let's see. I'll send him here too. Or do they need intelligence for that? I have no clue. Let's try it out. Okay. Hey, Sean, you already had some snake gall? Mmm, only once. So, things you do to grow powerful. Dig in. And again. Come on, one more. Let's see. I'm pretty sure he can eat all three of them. That stuff is really powerful to cultivate people quickly. Right now I'm manually collecting cotton for for the production of fabrics. Alrighty. Crafting 40 on Sean already. Perfect. That's really good. This brings me exactly to, to the point where I want to be with him. Manifesting Mandate. Primordial Spirit and Luck. Okay. Awesome. So, Gi Mao is the perfect candidate for that. He's Primordial Spirit and he's super lucky. But the Eureka pill was not exactly what I was hoping for. But that's fine. He'll just keep doing that. He can do the calculation and he can conquer the the artifact. Or he can... Ancient Immortal. Okay. He's pretty good at tackling the adventures himself afterwards. It's pretty good. Let's see... Does he have traveling talismans equipped? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. But he has them on him, so... There we go. Let's redo that. I just want to know how much faster he is. Only... only a... increase of... 0.16 days. Well, I mean, it's still a lot, but... I have expected more than that, to be quite honest. So, my outer disciples... Can't we somebody... Can somebody... Focus the tailoring work, please? Thanks. I hope that'll work. Now, we are smithing items again. That means we're also able to craft new artifacts. We got three death jolts in our uh, treasury. So, manifesting caves. Okay. Opalescent Seven Souls textile. Let's check out what that is. Come on, I'm curious. So... Is there any particular quality to a purple fabric artifact? I don't think so. All right, let's go for a calculation. So, mound full moon. I really want to try out all these adventures, basically because I'm still very inexperienced with a whole multitude of adventures in this game. And I see this as a very welcome opportunity to 
to try out if things are working like I think they work and see what I can learn about or about these events when you are geared out with a with powerful cultivators. I really like these in, uh, these informations. So let's put a few of these swords into the formation. I have really no clue how much of a defense this thing ever will be, but I feel like I wanted to put up some some more there. Oh, the bull died. I wonder why. It was such a lovely place. Ooh, that's a nice one. Manifesting cave, sprout pill, okay. So the manifesting cave event seems to just spawn random loot of higher qualities. Or lower qualities. So, stone engravings at Mount Shu. Okay. This is all very, very exciting for me because I really hope that I'm going to able going to be able to acquire new laws soon. That would be really, really awesome. So we are not processing anything. Why is that so? Let's see. Sometimes work jobs get bugged as well. Oh, that's intelligence. So that one should be tackled by somebody else. Got it. And now it works. Like, sometimes work orders seem to be broken. It's not the first time that I've encountered it. Not that often, but whenever I felt like there's literally no other explanation visible why something doesn't work, Deleting the work order and putting it up again worked sometimes a charm, and so did it here. Okay. Good news. So, a mandate. The mandate thing was solvable by primordial spirit and luck, so... That's something which Yimao will do for us. Okay. Meanwhile, please, dear ladies, keep crafting those artifacts. The wealth of our sect is depending on it. <laughs> wow. This is such an insane way of training crafting. We're also acquiring a lot of money with that. The mini-universe is really, really powerful, gotta say. Eureka pill, okay. Ah, because we already had, had the heaven-stealing law, I see. Man, unlucky. Two times, and we already had law, those laws already two times. Solren pill, why is that banned? Let's keep the derivative thingy going. I mean... Alright, this is one thing to send an intelligent person after. But sadly, intelligence... Well, okay. Yan Yong is the most intelligent, intelligent cultivator in our sect. Then we can keep going with the calculations. 
a manifesting miracle. Okay. I don't think that this will be too interesting, but let's try it out nevertheless. Okay, crafting 43. I think I'm going to keep this up until his foundation process is completed. And then maybe if he's already on 50, I'll just, uh, I'll just train him then. This should be enough. But I really want to hit that artifact crafting level of 50 before we do that. Just because it's great. So, where are the training spots? Okay, he was giving up. Come on, ye. Oh, that was also an intelligence-based thing, but Yan Yong was not faring better here. Dang. So, acquiring new laws is a pretty nasty chore. I really feel like I wouldn't. I, I seem to need somebody with a higher intelligence than that. Okay. Let's try it one more time. I mean. It's not like Yan Yong is completely dumb. 6.6 .6 intelligence ain't that bad. I'm pretty sure it should be also enough to make sure that he's able to do the... to, to fulfill this with a success, but... Well... Somebody with higher stats would have almost guaranteed successes, so... All right, that's another one for intelligence. Another one. Mandate, that's what we're going to send him to. Please not again one I already got. I'm a little bit sad that intelligence is such a weak stat in my sect. I really gotta keep that in mind for the future, that intelligence is also a stat I should value more among my cultivators. It's a lot of things you can't know when you're starting out for the first time, which are really clear once you have more experience with the game. But luckily, we are learning this here. Holy moly. We're churning through the cotton in no time. Yeah. Oh, Yan Yong came to a place with two miracles. So, is his intelligence rating just too low, I wonder? Or twice bad luck? Seven slaughtering sword. Come on, you. I know that there are some laws that I am still missing. I don't have the emotion severing law yet. Let's see. So we got the seven slaughtering sword. I only got the uh, Myriad Artifact and the Heaven Stealing. There are still two, I think, which I'm missing. Oh man, unlucky. Alright. Hmm. 
Let's send Yan Yong for that. I mean, 6.6 .6 intelligence must work at some point, no? Ooh. The Demon Emperor's Tomb. So, as far as I remember, this was a luck based event. I'm pretty sure that this was a luck based event, so let's send the luckiest cultivator alive. Well, gotta say, this is really, really cool. Alright. More artifacts, please. Okay. I thought searching for no new laws wouldn't be that hard, actually. The merchant! Let's see. Alright. First off, we're lucky. He's buying materials. Sprout pill. Boosting cultivation speed. Sage fruit. Definitely, definitely gonna take that. Metal origin. Dragon feces, definitely buying those. Resin essence. Don't know, never seen those. Bane pills. Well, I'm gonna pick up one more. I'm not sure, I should have. I still should have a few of those in my stockpiles, but I can't really tell right now. Doesn't really matter too much though, because we're going to sell stuff now. So first, all that, all that black, uh, black fabric will go. Speaking about go. These items uh, have sometimes insane values. For two just treasure, they are not interesting, but here, artifacts, I mean, that's what we're doing all day long. I really enjoy it that we do have enough artifacts to really sell a lot of, uh, a lot of them. And let's see sell away the embarrassing ones okay and the rest we can just fill up with where is it at lotus root let's just put 1000 units of lotus root on top of that so 432 i'll do that trade now and now we're going to do yet another trade because now I want to take all his spirit stones. Well, I'm not gonna make it, but you, I think you get my idea. So I got way more food than I ever need. Well, maybe maybe not ever, but I'm pretty sure I won't be needing food in these numbers. But I do know that I will need money in these numbers. So let's take some more beast blood. Nobody needs beast blood in these amounts. Alright. That's just fine. I'm fine with that. So, Yan Yong is just not intelligent enough. At this point, I stop to think that he's actually able to, to pull this off. I thought so. Exploitation of external pleasures. That was a miracle, if I remember correctly. Fekda thread. I already read this. A while ago. Well. Exp 
exploitation of external pleasures. That's some... That's a miracle where you can feast off somebody's mood, if I remember correctly. So, my friend Sean, crafting 43, you're out of work? <gasps> no. No way. He's been churning through the jobs now really quickly, but you know, the better you get at some at something, the higher the quality gets or and the faster your work is done. With this game it's always working like if you're really good at something, the work time substantially gets reduced. Well, I'll still send Yan Yong to that and let's try. Maybe he's going to be lucky one day, maybe not. Here, yeah. Ha! It, I, I was absolutely right, it was even the one with the moods. Ha! Slowly I start memorizing things. Oh, in an ancient book at Sunstop Town. Let's chase that. I would assume luck behind that as well, but little do I know. Hmm, I've used up all the cotton soon, that's okay. More artifacts! A refugee wants to join me. Well, try. Okay, manifesting miracle. No, not the intelligence one. Oh, it's Yan Yong. Okay. Oh. Keep. Okay, at least I got a manual this time. At least he didn't mess up the challenge again. So there is a chance for him to succeed. It's just not that high. It's at least something. So, well. Demon hide casual pants. Just checking out what kind of material, what kind of items we could try to transform into artifacts as well. Painting, how about that? I've never had a artifact made out of painting. Ancient book. Luck. Records of the Immortals, Volume 2. What's that? Something I've never heard of. What's really good is I start to understand enough of the game about the game that I am able in future runs to look at things completely differently. I can way better get a picture if we really need these things or not. Realm of Enigma. Okay. So we're going to whip. Oh, I can't equip that because it's already being transported. Always that same thing. Okay. Now, let's see. Mount Cerulea of the South Southern Seas. Now, let's see. Is that some... Yeah, actually, this is a new... A 
Okay, without the guidance of a secret law, one will not be able to find the top of the mountain. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's really cool what kind of things show up when you use the derivative calculation. Great, another book. So I guess books won't be ever featuring laws, entire laws. I think it's only the mandate manifestation events which are triggering that, but well. What's making me a little bit concerned is that my sect is gathering more and more reputation, but I guess I have to live with that. So, Sean is slowly getting towards the master rank. Yeah. Takes quite some time as soon as the stats are this high, but I think it's absolutely worth it to keep him training like that because this saves, saves up so much unnecessary attainment in the future. So I'm just waiting for Yi Mao for his last adventure. Book. Wind Tamer's Travels. So we're acquiring more of these travel journal books. And also I have found the most powerful Earth Chi provider. So we can... Well, the good news about Dragon Feces is it also has a pretty okay range apart from being super powerful. Anywho, we're going to fix that next episode. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I think uh, we're at a, we're doing great here. Can't wait for Sean to be reintroduced into the cultivation world, but he's almost there. He's almost there. And after that's all been done, I guess I will be collecting those Missing laws, I hope I will. Ooh, he got another level there. So, that's the biggest issue right now. I'm missing too many laws, but let's see if we can fix that. Drop me a comment down below if you have any ideas that could be helpful with my situation, like acquiring laws. Is there anything better that I'm using? I highly doubt it, but who knows. Apart from that, a like would be much, much appreciated. A subscription to my channel if you like the content would help you to get the notifications you like. Apart from that, I want to say have a nice day and see you soon. Bye-bye.